Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and we're back again with another private stock event. This is our first event in a few months. We're about to look at most of the items that will be in the next private stock event and the event will be going live this Friday, June 30th at 12 p.m. noon central time on our website ashlandleather.com under the private stock page. And I'm extremely excited to show you these wallets because there's several different new leathers and looks, different design ideas, tons of great stuff for everybody. Let's start off here with a new leather from Horween. And this leather is called Yellowstone. It is a vegetable tanned shrunken bison skin in a blue color. And shrunken bison is a really unique look. It has this random texture. And on the skin itself, sometimes the patterning is a little bit more coarse and sometimes it's a little bit more fine. And this patterning here on the blue Yellowstone bison is a little bit more on the coarse side. What I love about the bison is of course, that natural shrunken texture, but it also has a really beautiful depth of color. If you look at the spine of this wallet, you can see the valleys of the texture are a little bit lighter and more of an electric blue color, where the peaks of the texture are much darker. So you get a really beautiful two-toned effect on the blue Yellowstone. Now this Johnny the Fox is made with a contrasting cream color stitching along the outside of the wallet, and that is hinting at some natural latigo on the interior. And let's continue and look at a couple more of the blue Yellowstone bison pieces. This is our Capone Money Clip, 100% blue Yellowstone. In this example, we have a little bit of a hand-stained edge to match. On the inside, more blue bison, and we have a gold spring bar money clip. And here's a look at our minimalist card holder, the Bugs Moran, also in the new blue Yellowstone. Really great look, and you can see through these pieces that the texture is completely random. Here's a look at the inside of this one. We have a three-shot card case. This time it has a contrasting teal color hand stitch along the outside. And we named the three-shot because it has three different card slots, one on the front, one on the back, and the larger section in the middle. Up next is a look at our flagship wallet. This is the Fat Herbie, also in that blue Yellowstone. Beautiful color, beautiful texture. Love everything about this, especially on a Fat Herbie. We have an extra large context of leather to see more of the random variation. Let me give you a look at the edges of the wallet. We have that nice matching blue color and more blue Yellowstone on the inside. Up next, I really like how this turned out. This is the Chicago comb. Also in the blue Yellowstone, we have the leather sheath to encase the carbon fiber comb. In addition to the blue color, this is the first ever appearance of bourbon Yellowstone. So same leather, same shrunken bison, same depth of color, but in a brown shade. And Horween is calling this color bourbon. If you look at the back side of the leather, it's a little bit more of like a golden tan. This is the bourbon color that you will see in the valleys of the texture. And then they've applied a little bit of a darker brown on the tips. So you get that same great two-tone effect in the natural shrunken pattern. And on the inside of this Giant of the Fox, we've made this in brown cypress. Up next is another piece in the bourbon Yellowstone. This is our Bugs Moran wallet style, minimalist front pocket card case. Here's another minimalist style, one of our more popular items, the Capone Money Clip, also in that brown bison, the brown Yellowstone. Here's a look at the inside of this one where we showcase the backside of the leather. This is the drum dyed color that I was referencing a moment ago. And we've got a fat Herbie to look at, another brown Yellowstone piece. On that extra large pattern piece of the fat Herbie, you get to see all of the range of texture in this one, very much a unique look. On the left and the right, you can see just how the pattern changes. There's a lot of times you see bison textures that are actually embossed and pressed into the skin. This is very much not that. What you're seeing in the Fat Herbie here is a natural shrunken pattern. So this is exactly how the grain of the animal has shrunken up to. The reason I cut this Fat Herbie with two different textures was to show you the range of texture. On the outside of the wallet, this is as coarse as the patterning gets. You can see a little bit of a wider pattern. And on the inside, this is about as fine as the new shrunken bison goes. Here's another extra large context of leather, tall Herbie this time. It's just like our fat Herbie, except the bill slot on the outside extends all the way to the top and there is no thumb notch. So large bill slot in the back. And you get to see all that great shrunken pattern in the brown Yellowstone. Let's look at the edges of this one. We've left this a little bit more of that crust color, a little bit more of a golden color on the edges, but we do wax and burnish them to be a little bit more filled in and shiny. Here's a look at the inside. This has some of that finer texture of the brown Yellowstone. I think I just called it brown a moment ago. This is bourbon Yellowstone. And I have one more piece to show you. This is our Apple Watch band and we've made a two layer strap. So there's two layers of four ounce shrunken bison 
stitched together. And let me show you what the two pieces look like, the longer adjustment side holes. If I flip it over, you can see it looks basically identical on the backside, except we have this little whip stitch at the top to close everything up. We have the same construction on the buckle side of the strap with the whip stitch at the top. We've stitched it down the edges. This one has a floating keeper as well as one fixed keeper. So it's pretty nice to keep the leather uh, consistent throughout a piece, but sometimes it's fun to do a color combination. I'm very happy with how this turned out. This is the Capone money clip, again, in the bourbon bison, sitting on top of some of that new bison, the Yellowstone in the blue color. We also have a contrasting blue color stitching all along the outside, which I think pairs perfectly with the blue in the center. And here's a look at the inside. We have the same concept of color combination inside of here. And one more combo wallet to show you. This is the blue bison on top of bourbon for a three shot card case. Now we're gonna get into some new stuff more special surprises. This is a brand new leather tannage from Horween. It's kind of like a vegetable tan leather, except that this is tanned with fallen olive leaves from the olive tree, and it's tanned using those leaves. So Horween calls it olive tanned, which I'm realizing is uh, causing a little bit of complication for me naming these colors. So technically this leather is called olive tanned Dublin, that has a ridge texture in it, and it is in the English tan color. But we're, for this event right now, we're gonna be calling it olive tanned alone. So Fat Herbie here, we have olive tanned on the outside as well as on the inside. And here's a look at another Fat Herbie. This one's great because we have a combination of the grain side of the olive tan leather sitting on top of the reverse side in the center. And we flip that around backwards for the interior. So the middle section here, this is the grain side. And then we have reverse pieces for the card holders. And we were able to cut the Horween USA measuring machine stamp just about perfectly into the bottom left. And one more olive tan piece to show you. This is our Bugs Moran, but this is the vertical card orientation on the Bugs Moran, all 100% olive tan leather from Horween. Okay, how about some more new stuff? Three new things so far in one video. This is a brand new look on the Cypress leather. And Cypress is a leather tannage that we started using this year. I believe it was developed just for us here at Ashland. And now it's sort of spread out into the boot world and it's a great leather. You get a really nice pull up effect on this Cypress. So we have a new color here. This is the teal Cypress, also from Horween. You may have seen the teal Latigo interior Johnny the Foxes that we do. This is the same exact leather, except there's an application of a hard wax finished onto the grain layer. And what that does is darken the color very obviously, but it has a great burst effect. So the undertones of the teal Cypress are much more of like a vivid teal and a little bit darker on top. We also have a contrasting teal color stitching along the outside, which works perfectly for this fat Herbie. And you know what? Why don't we just combine them together? So this is olive tan sitting on top of the teal cypress. And on the inside, we have the same look here. Here's another combo, but sort of the backwards of that. We've got the teal cypress sitting on top of olive tan with a contrasting teal stitch and the inside more teal cypress on top of the back side this is the flesh side of the olive tan leather. And one more fat Herbie to look at. This is sort of like our double reverse Herbies that we've done in the past. This is teal cypress on reverse teal cypress. You can see the measuring machine stamp in the bill slot. On the inside, we have the reverse cypress with the Horan USA stamp on the bottom left. And I've got three more of the teal cypress pieces. We've got a one shot card case and that beautiful new leather. Here's an Apple watch band in the teal cypress. This is a single layer strap with teal color hand stitching. And the last one, this is a hand stitched one shot card case in the reverse side of the teal cypress. And the hand stitching here is a contrasting pink color. Oh, you know what? I guess we're not done with the teal cypress just yet. We have another three shot card case in the teal cypress with orange hand stitching along the border. I'm really excited to show you the next pieces here. This is the inspiration for a couple spring themed wallets. And these are called wildflowers and we've done them in two colors. One of which you may have seen before on a live stream. Let me show you this new one here. So this is the concept and then this is the reality. And I love how this black Dublin tall Herbie has turned out. You can see a combination of several different stitching colors embroidered onto that black Dublin. And then there's inlaid different leather colors, tons of great stuff on this tall Herbie. It's also hand stitched all along the outside. Here's a look at the inside. We have some blue colors on top of yellow and these are made out of thinner horsehide pieces. And we have some more embroidery going around the card slots. And here's the inspiration for another beautifully embroidered wildflower wallet. And check this out here. This is a leather I believe is called Mystic in the red color. It's kind of like Horween's Dublin leather, but a little bit less burst effect. 
I love the combination here. If, if I counted correctly, there's four or five different colors incorporated into the embroidery and inlay on the outside of this wallet. And it turned out beautifully, especially on that larger pattern piece of a tall Herbie. We find the larger wallet styles to be better to show off a little bit more context. And I think it works great on this tall Herbie. We have the baby blue hand stitching color going all along the outside of the wallet. Here's a look at the inside, more of that blue stitching on the outside that hints at the teal in the center, more red mystic, and then sort of this candy cane effect color combo stitching that divides the card slots. All right, I'm gonna move very quickly in an effort to show you more stuff in a shorter amount of time in the video, because like I said, there's over 150 items to look at. And as a reminder, these are all going up this Friday at noon central time. This is denim blue gator shell cordovan on a Johnny the Fox with a reverse interior and a gold foil stamp. Up next is a leather finish that's pretty new. This is the skip finish made on the tall Herbie. And on the inside, we have more of that incredible finish. Hopefully Skip Horwin can make some more of these for us. Here's a look at another Skip finish wallet. This time it's a Bugs Moran with vertical card slots. Before we get to look at the inside, let's take a look at the outside here. Really incredible dynamic range of color. Depending on what angle you look at it, it's a little bit more vibrant at certain angles and a little bit more muted at other angles. But it really goes from that lighter orangey tan shade to a little bit more of a burgundy and then a dark brown. Here's a look at the inside. These bottom card slots and the top card slots are also known as skip finish, but this is a different variation. He hasn't really named these things and I don't really know what to call them just yet. Here's another leather that I haven't seen before. And I believe this is tumbled marbled cigar shell cordovan with a box board texture. And it's got a little bit more of like a suede feel. This is shell cordovan. And it's sort of that like pale green color. It's very beautiful. Here's a look at the inside of this one. Up next is a vertical card slot Bugs Moran in marbled color eight shell cordovan. One of my favorites here, tall Herbie again, this time in psychedelic shell cordovan. And hopefully I can properly demonstrate how nice this color is. There's a very dramatic difference of color depending upon what angle you look at this leather. Here's a look at the inside with more psychedelic shell cordovan. Hopefully I can show that to you. Here's our largest pattern piece yet. This is the long wallet in raw denim shell cordovan. You can see it's a little bit less bright and shiny than normal shell cordovan. On the inside, we have that brand new olive tan leather sitting on top of more raw denim shell cordovan. Here's a fun one, epic green shell cordovan. This is a little bit darker green and it has that random texture that we call the epic texture. This is made on our passport wallet. We call this the traveler passport holder. Here's another vertical Bugs Moran. This is the blue cypress. It's a little bit thinner for this piece and then no stamping on the inside. Here's a Johnny the Fox in marbled green shell cordovan, I believe could be marbled green or marbled blue. It's kind of tough to tell the difference. On the inside, we have English Tan Dublin. I've got a few different marbled color eight Bugs Moran to look at. Marbled color eight here, you can see a little bit more of a subtle texture on the outside and a little bit more dramatic on the inside. This one is really dramatic. I like the dark to light uh, contrast sort of immediately. That's my preference. So look at the inside, it's a little bit darker. There's another one. And by the way, all these will have their own individual product pages. So you'd be able to pick the exact one you want. Here's a look at another here. It's a little bit more subtle. Here's a look at the inside. Let's flip through some Capone money clips. I love how this guy turned out. This is natural Horween Latigo sitting on cobalt blue Dublin with a contrasting teal color stitching and more natural Latigo on the inside. Here's an epic splatter reverse color HL Cordovan Capone money clip sitting on top of the traditional classic color eight shell and more epic color eight splatter on the inside. There's a couple more marbled color eight pieces on the Capone money clip. Show you this guy here. It's got a little bit more of a subtle vibe on the outside, a little bit more aggressive on the center. It looks like these were book matched together as well, which is great. Another marbled color eight shell cordovan Capone money clip here to look at. And you just look at the inside. And I love how this one turned out. This is hand glazed epic splatter reverse color eight. So you can see the reverse side of the shell here has been filled in a little bit more smooth and matted down than the normal reverse color eight shell. I think it looks great, especially with this color eight stripe going alongside the top of the wallet. We've got a Horween ink stamp on the bottom left. Here's a look at the inside where we have garnet shell cordovan. And then this one is also hand stitched with a contrasting cream color stitching. And we have a few more Johnny the Foxes to look at. I think we had a very nice batch of marbled color eight shell cordovan come through and made some nice private stock out of it. First Johnny the Fox here, a little bit more subtle on the back and very dramatic on the inside. This one's a little bit more dramatic on the outside. Let's look at the inside of this one. Beautiful. 
And these are tough to get because not every piece of shell cordovan is thin enough to be able to make the inside of a Johnny the Fox. We need to pick naturally thin pieces of leather for all these card slots. And the last one here, this is not marbled color eight. This is also another funky one. Tumbled marbled cigar shell cordovan, if I recall correctly, that is super unique. Really love the color and texture on this piece. I'll try to demonstrate the texture on it because it is a little bit rippled in certain spots. Just look at the inside. We have more tumbled marbled cigar shell cordovan. And let's skim through some baseballs. I got this one in reverse blue shell cordovan. Here's one in denim blue shell cordovan. Looks like we got whiskey with orange stitching. Here's another one. I think this is a natural shell cordovan. Here's one in marbled black with a Western texture. And I think this is epic natural shell cordovan. Here's one with black shell cordovan and a navy blue stitching. We've got reverse color eight with color eight shell cordovan. Here's color four shell cordovan with reverse natural shell cordovan and a Horwin USA stamp. Here's one in ultraviolet or magenta, it's hard to know, and reverse ultraviolet with a Horween stamp. This baseball is black shell cordovan with teal stitching. Here's one also in black shell cordovan, but with a forest green stitching. And I think this is actually inverted black now that I look a little bit more closely. Here's one in whiskey shell cordovan. I'm pretty sure this is green shell cordovan with reverse blue epic splatter for that pattern piece and green on this. There's another skip finish. This is a skip finish baseball. I love this look of the skip finish. They're all pretty cool, but that one's my favorite. Here's another one in raw whiskey shell cordovan, and then it has a green, olive green color stitching. And another one, this is epic whiskey shell cordovan, really cool random texture on the epic shells, and then darker, more golden brown color of the whiskey. Okay, more stuff. Here's another first appearance. In uh, one of the last private stock videos, we did a horse butt belt in a color number eight color. So it was Horween's vegetable tanned horse butt strips, but finished just like shell cordovan. That's what this is here, but this is made to match whiskey shell cordovan. So you can see the belt is unlined. It's extra thick veg, and you get all this natural character of the horse butt that I very much like. If you've never seen one of these pieces of veg from Horween age before, they age very nicely. It gets much darker, much more bright and shiny. It looks very heritage very quickly. And this is made in a little bit more of a minimalist design with a metal keeper and antique brass buckle. All right, let's blast through some accessories. Another one of the bourbon bison pieces. This is our lighter sheath in the bourbon bison. We actually have a couple of these and they're both slightly different in texture. You can see one's a little bit more coarse. Here's another lighter sheath in the tumbled marbled box board cigar. I believe those are all the words. We got another here in the skip finish and this is the different variation of the skip finish. Kind of reminds me of Halloween for some reason. We have a couple of Lexington key cases, reverse natural with no stitching. This is reverse ultraviolet with stitching. Here's one in garnet shell with no stitching, natural chrome excel without any stitching. We got garnet shell cordovan with some stitching here. And this is our different version of the key holder, vault key holder with two screw posts. So you can fit six keys on this one and three on the other. This is reverse natural. We've got marbled ultraviolet. Here's a fun one in raw denim shell cordovan with a magnetic snap closure. So it just easily closes there. And the last one, we actually have a couple of these. This is color number four shell cordovan for the vault key holder. Well, let's look at some key fob loops. Whiskey shell cordovan for this key fob loop. Here's a color combo key fob loop. We've got denim blue shell cordovan with garnet shell cordovan, antique brass hardware. I've never seen a keychain belt clip like this before. This is violet shell cordovan with a lizard texture, and then it's all blacked out. We've got matte black snaps, matte black rivets, and then a matte black clip and ring. Here's a keychain belt clip in marbled black show cordovan. This key fob is Gator Amaretto show cordovan. And we have a couple watch bands to look at. 19 millimeters for the lug width on this one. It's a little bit more narrow than most, as well as on this other blue strap. But one is with gold hardware and the other is with silver hardware. We also have a short length 20 millimeter strap here. And this strap has gold hardware. It's also unlined. There's a few Joe batters going up. These might look familiar. Raw natural shell cordovan for the first one. Here's color number eight Dublin, which I have a tough time capturing on photos and video. This is a very beautiful color in person. Here's one in black shell cordovan. This is cigar shell cordovan, a little bit more of a true brown when compared to color eight shell cordovan. You might be able to see the difference right there. And the last one, this is slate vintage, it's not cordovan. This is steer hide leather that has sort of like a waxy chalky look 
it's a little bit more of a gray. It's, it's pretty difficult to come across naturally finished gray leathers, and I love how the slate vintage turns out. We have another passport holder. This is Whiskey Shell Cordovan on top of Intense Blue Shell Cordovan with blue stitching. On the inside, we have Reverse Natural with gold foil stamps and then two hidden card slots. Here's a checkbook cover in Black Shell Cordovan with a, an additional exterior slot. We've got two on the inside and one on the outside. We've got a couple Gus card cases in the batch, all Reverse Color 8 Shell Cordovan. We got English Tan Dublin for this piece here. And we have Epic Whiskey Shell Cordovan, which is super intense for this Gus. Here's a Vic Snap Wallet in inverted blue shell cordovan, if I recall correctly. You can tell it's inverted blue because they finished the blue onto the reverse side of the leather, leaving those random die marks on the shell side. Here's a variation on the Tony the Ant that we do not do very often. Natural shell cordovan on the outside with vertical card slots on the inside. And here's a Bugs Moran that is all reverse color eight shell cordovan with two additional exterior quick access card slots with one vertical slot on the right and one traditional slot on the left. We've got a couple more pieces in the marbled color eight shell cordovan. These are the Bugs Moran. And I'll spin these around so you can see the full range of color. Here's a look at the inside of this wallet. Here's a look at the next one. I'll give it a spin so you can see the range. A little bit more mild on that piece and a little bit more intense on the inside. Here's another Bugs Moran in tumbled marble cigar shell cordovan. I believe that's what this is. You get these sort of rippled textured effects of the tumbling, but also the depth of color and the marbling that looks really, really neat. And it sort of has like a suede feel. Just look at the inside with more of the same leather. And we're getting pretty crowded on the table. This is our vertical Frank the Enforcer in reverse epic splatter violet trail cordovan. Here's a three shot card case. I think this might be one of the first appearances of inverted color eight shell cordovan. We've done inverted black before, inverted blue. This is the first time I think I've seen a piece in inverted color eight. It may have been done before. It turned out great. Here's a three shot in reverse epic splatter blue. So it's a blue shell cordovan flipped backwards with the epic splatter on it. Here's one with green shell cordovan on whiskey shell cordovan. And we've been hearing you that you want five slot Frank the Enforcer. So I have a few to show you today. The first one is the brown cypress leather. You can see we've got one additional card slot on the back. So there's two in the front, two in the back, and one in the center for the five slot Frank. Here's another one in English Tan Dublin. This is a color combination with Teal Latigo and the Brown Cypress. Here's Teal Latigo and English Tan Dublin. 100% Teal Latigo for this piece. English Tan Dublin with Brown Cypress, front and back. English Tan Dublin with Teal Latigo, front and back. This is the Blue Cypress on top of English Tan Dublin for the center on the front and on the back. Here's Brown Cypress with the teal latigo. I'm surprised how well this turned out. I like this color combo. And unlike the five slot Frank, I've got a couple more Franks to show you that have the four slots. So this is reverse cigar shell cordovan. Here's one in marbled black shell cordovan and then reverse on the backside. Here's color eight shell cordovan. This is epic color eight shell with a gold foil stamp and then more epic color eight on the back. And I know there's a bunch of people that have been waiting to see some fat Herbies in the video. On this one here, we have Whiskey Shell Cordovan on top of Color H Shell Cordovan for the outside with a box board texture whiskey on the right and then whiskey on the left. Here's one with Black Shell Cordovan on the outside with a reverse black interior. Next up is Reverse Color H Shell Cordovan on top of Color H Shell and Reverse on the interior. Looks like we've got a bunch of ink stamps for that piece. Here's one with Garnet Shell Cordovan on top of Black Shell Cordovan for the exterior with Black Shell Cordovan on the inside. Up next is Epic Natural Shell Cordovan for this Fat Herbie, check that out. And we've got more Epic Natural on the inside. And we've got some more marbled color eight shell. I love it on a Fat Herbie because you get that extra large context. I'll spin this around so you can see the range of color in the marbled color eight shell piece here. Just look at the interior with more marbled color eight. We also did a nice match job for the edge color for these wallets. Here's another marbled color eight shell cordovan fat Herbie to show you. This one is reverse magenta on top of magenta shell cordovan. It's a little bit more pink, a little bit less dark than the ultraviolet shell cordovan. Here's another one in tumbled marbled cigar shell. Love the way that this piece turned out. I'll give you a spin for this piece. It looks really, really neat. More of the tumbled marble cigar on the interior. Here's another epic piece on the Fat Herbie, epic natural shell cordovan on the outside and inside, but no stamping on this piece. This is a Vic Snap Wallet in Gator Amaretto shell cordovan. We've got a contrasting blue color stitching and a quick access card slot on the back. Here's a Machine Gun Jack 
in blue shell cordovan. A couple one shots to show you. This is tumbled marbled boxboard texture shell cordovan for this one shot. We have one also in that same inverted blue shell cordovan. We also have a few NATO straps that I wanted to showcase. People were asking about dip dyed amaretto. You know, here's a 20 millimeter NATO strap in that dip dyed amaretto shell cordovan. The shell side of the dip dyed amaretto, we actually call blood orange. It's like a little darker and more red than the normal amaretto, so we had to rename the color. But the reverse side of that leather is the bright orange shade that you just saw on this piece here. And one more NATO option, also in gator amaretto shell cordovan. I'll remind you that all those NATO straps are 20 millimeters. And let's finish it off with a couple Tony the Ants. Check this guy out here. Reverse blue shell cordovan with epic splatter orange hand stitching along the outside on the inside we have more reverse shell and a ton of ink stamps so this is reverse black reverse color eight in the center and then reverse ultraviolet on the left here's another tall tony this is also skip finish you'll notice it looks much different than the skip finish that we looked at a moment ago this is a little bit more of like linear streaking in the finish job for the shell but there is sort of this like squinty eyeball effect that i really like the look of on this finish it's very dark as well sort of like a color eight vibe in this effect on the inside we have more of that new skip finish i'm gonna have to come up with some unique names for how he's finished these but they're both very very cool i think there's a three or four different finish variations that he's come up with at this point here's another tall tony the end this one is tumbled natural shell cordovan on the outside we have the skip stitch the skip stitch is the same wallet as before but we just stitch it a little bit lower to give you easier access to the bill slot on the inside we have more Tumbled natural shell cordovan with reverse natural for the card holders. And this one is also hand stitched. Here's a Tony the Ant in reverse psychedelic shell cordovan inside and outside. Here's a Tony the Ant. We were talking about blood orange and dip dyed amaretto. This is black on blood orange shell cordovan hand stitched with a red thread. On the inside, we've got black on top of more dip dyed amaretto. And you can see the dip dyed piece in the center. This is the reverse side of that leather. Another tone, the ant whiskey shell cordovan. And on the interior, we have tumbled natural shell cordovan. A couple more marbled color eight pieces. Tony the ant, marbled color eight right here. Spin it around for you. And in the inside, more marbled color eight shell. Here's a fun one, black shell cordovan with brown stitching. There's something about black and brown that work very well together. On the inside, We've got some natural shell cordovan and two more pieces. This is inverted violet shell cordovan that I also noticed was very difficult to capture in person. It's not as pink in person. It's definitely more of like a tan with these violet dye marks. I really like this more in person than in the uh, photos and videos. Just look at the inside where we have alternating card slots. This is ultraviolet shell cordovan on top of reverse shell cordovan and we're able to cut both stamps into this one so this is the shell cordovan ink stamp and then the horween measuring machine stamp underneath and last but not least so many things in the video today maybe our best yet this is a bugs moran with a color combination we've got cobalt blue dublin with a contrasting cream color stitching along the outside on the interior we have more of the cobalt blue dublin sitting on top of natural latigo and there's something about these two colors together that just work. I'm also noticing on this one, when I'm taking photos, it's a little hard to capture just how interesting uh, this looks, sort of like a sandwich color effect with these two colors together. Wow, so over 150 items for this private stock event. Let me know what your stunner was. I think this might be mine here. There's too many to choose from. But there's something about this really dramatic and light color shell on the tumbled natural that I really enjoy. And then we've got the hand stitching. Honestly, there's too many to pick from. So I just picked what was most interesting and closest to me on the table. Let me know what you would pick for a stunner. And if you want to pick up one of these wallets, again, everything will be available on the website, ashlandleather.com under the private stock page at 12 p.m. Central Time. That's noon Central Time this Friday, June 30th. And if you have any questions about any of these wallets, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. I'd be happy to help you out. And thank you guys so much for your support. Have a great weekend and see you later. Thank you.